So you have installed a new hard drive or made some changes with your computer and now you are unable to see your hard drive in the list under computer. Alright, let's try and solve this problem. This will work for Windows Vista, Windows 7 and Windows 8. I am sure you are using one of these. It might be same for XP also. If you are an XP user, please do try and let me know the results. All hard drives which gets installed in the computer are listed here and there are only two reasons why it won't. First, hardware issue which is connectivity issue with the hard drive due to faulty cables, faulty port or simply a faulty hard drive. The second issue is software issue. This is what we will solve now. So first click on the start button, right click on computer and then click on manage. This will open computer management. There are many ways to open computer management. This one is one of the easiest one. In computer management, please click on disk management and this will list all the hard drives, CD drives connected with the computer. Here you will see a drive named unallocated means without a drive letter. This is the drive you need and which is not listed under computer. Remember, you only need to work on this drive which has no drive letter and shows unallocated. Do not make any change to any other drive here. I once did and had to reinstall my windows. <laughs> so that you understand this easily, I deleted one drive and that's why you see a small drive of 100 MB listed here. This is what was not there under computer because it has no drive letter. You will see a similar drive in your disk management screen and all you need to do is right click on it. Then click on the new simple volume. This as you can see will open a new simple volume wizard. Click on next. Next screen shows the size of the drive which we don't need to change. So click on next and then select the drive letter. It can be anything from D, E, F to Z but not the ones already taken. So we will name this one D and continue. In the next screen it gives us the option to format or not format. We will select to format it. Remember format means if there was any data in the hard drive it will be deleted. Below it it says volume label which is nothing but the name of your new hard drive. I am naming it internal drive. Click on next and this window shows all the settings of this drive like size, format etc. Click on finish and that's it. All done. Now it will automatically ask you to open the new hard drive. It's empty and ready to use. And when you open computer now it will show you your missing hard drive with the name and drive letter you gave it. Thank you for watching and do let me know if this helped you. Don't forget to like and comment and please subscribe for more useful and informational videos produced by AD Films only for you. God bless.